afternoon everybody how's things yes it's wet here too and it's gray and it's horrible but do you know what i'm actually sat in my classroom it's it's been painted the walls are all painted there's some nice blinds up we've actually got tables in here and chairs although at the moment they're just sort of uh, in the corner just so i can make space for me and john's going to come back in and finish a few bits later so uh, yeah, so things are looking good here. It's been really busy. Been um, quite a busy morning, as you can imagine. We're uh, packing and uh, making for the next show because um, Create and Craft did ask me back. It's very kind of them to ask me back. I'm I'm over there again on Wednesday. So uh, yes, yeah, so it'd be nice to have some more demos of the uh, the three books and the the Lotus and the puzzle. So that should be great. So we can see here we're on tile number 62 and it's a little bit different. It started life as this one, just as a basic, nice sort of creamy tile, one of the regular ones, of course. But I, I wasn't quite sure what colour to go with today. So I used one of those and I've actually inked it. So I've got this kind of pattern going on. I did have two, so I've got one here. It's got a bit of a, a greeny, yellowy tinge. And then I've got this. I thought this is quite nice and bright and warm. Oh, brilliant, Christine. Glad they're getting out there. So if you're not quite sure how to do this or you think how she created this sort of effect, then I did do this last Friday at the beginning of the, the demo with the tassels. So have a look back over there and, uh, and it'll give you a little bit of a pointer. So, okay, what am I going to be doing then? What I thought I'd do is I'd, I'm going to use this, this stencil just to give me a, a get up and go, really. Um, just makes life a little bit easier and what I'm wanting to do here is use the square now again if you want to you can uh, you can go ahead and do this as a circle it's entirely up to you now I'm only going to be quite light with this because oh I do apologize I've moved it because I, it's just a guide and I don't want to see it after and then of course if um, oh it did look a bit mystical you know, if you rub it out, it's going to affect the... Uh, oh, I don't even know if you can see that. Shall I use the other one? See if that's a little bit better. Let's try this one. See, when you rub it out, because I've used water-based inks, um, it'll rub out that as well, and I don't want to do that. So there you go. I've gone a little bit darker. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Okay, so next bit then. I'm going to aura that line. So again, if you want to, if you want to use a tile or the edge of that stencil, I'm not going to make it too, too thick, which is why I'm probably not going to put the other square in there. So uh, let's just go in and add this. So I've got a bit of a frame. Uh, yeah, and I, I know somebody's just sort of asked about tangle boards. I have got some in. So if they're not, if it says that they're out of stock on my website, I just need to go in and add in a few more I'll do that after I've been uh, I've been here uh, Chris yes you can you can do the work not a problem and then ink it over but what I would do is I draw it up which is not a problem with the pen but then I wouldn't go in and add any shade into it so I'd leave the pencil out then ink it and then put the pencil over the top afterwards so that's sort of uh, that's sort of where I'm going with that okay so you can see that I use the outside, the larger square with it, and then I've just put a little frame inside. Now, let's have a look. I'm going to go in with pen. Um, let's just sort of mark, quick mark of the centre. It's about, yeah, it's about there. Okay. And then oh, I'm going to go in with this one. So it's nice to have the shapes just to sort of go in and be able to play a little bit with it. It's... Uh, you know, it's, it then changes it up, so any sort of size circle. Uh, oh, Bernadette, now, pens are for your tangle, but I actually do, I do use my Micron pens, but just be light with it because obviously it's a wood grain, and sometimes you can get hold of uh, what they call a PN, plastic nib. So see where mine says O2, it would say PN. There. I don't actually have any, any with me at the minute, so I'll show you. And that works brilliantly. As far as the pencils, use any pencils you like on it. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I think this one I did use polychromos because it was before I had my bronze eels. But then you do have to do a spray fix to have it to, to have it stay on there, else it's going to be rubbing off as you're using your board. So I hope, hope that helps a bit. Okay. 
So, deep breath. Whew. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, start with my pencil because, again, I don't want to sort of have to worry about uh, where I'm going with this just for a minute. Now, this is a pattern we've done before, but I'm doing it in a slightly different version. So you can see I've gone from the sort of the circle in the middle and I've gone over the frame, just sticking out a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one with a curve. See, a little bit wider at the top, you see? Gone quite, but now a bit wider at the top. Okay, then I'm going to join them with a bit of a curve. You see? Okay. And then a little mark there. See, I'm, so I'm going just to where that border is and then I'm going to come underneath it and back down to join it there. Okay. So then I'm going to turn my tile. Oh, hi, Barbara. Hi, Bridget. Thank you for answering the question there. I obviously missed it. I do apologise. Sometimes when I'm, uh, I'm looking at the tile, I, I don't always see what, you've, uh, what you're saying. So please don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm not. It's... I don't always see it. And by the time I look up, the, the message is gone. Okay. Yeah, Sheila, that would work. That'd be great. Yeah, just to sort of finish it off, really. And you want to fix it because it's, you know, you want it to sort of stay in place. So you can see what I've done. I've repeated what I've done in the first one. I've done those little curves. It's a little bit like a, a little bow wrapped around a present, isn't it? There we are. Hi, Shirley. Next one then. So I'm just going slightly over the line with both of those. It's going to be slightly wider here than here, and then I'm coming down to this frame line and then back into the point there. Okay? So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over those now in pen so you can see where I've been working there, just to give you an idea. So there's those two, one over the top just to the frame and back down to the point okay okay and the next one same again now if you don't you know follow the pencil exactly don't worry about it that will disappear a little bit later and again oh thank you Bridget I know it is nice to help and I wouldn't be busy if it wasn't for uh, for all you out there. I do appreciate it. I am grateful. And I do work very hard, but it's because I, I want to make sure that, you know, you, you're getting everything that you need to sort of do this. And I know sometimes it can be a pain waiting, so I, I do try and get things out as quickly as I can. Okay. All right, so this is where we're at so far. So I'm going to put my pen down. I'm going to go back to pencil and then I'm going to have a look in between here. Now I, I could go in and add another one, but I think what I'm going to do is split my space here and I'm going to add two in there. So there's one of them. So there's those two curves, slightly larger bit and then back down and then one here. And you see you've got to think about where it's going because we're on a square shape here. So it's trying to work out which, uh, oh, thank you, Bernadette, I said I do try. So yeah, you've got, you've got to figure out whereabouts on that frame you are, just to sort of have it coming over so that goes under there. And same with this one. So I'm slightly over, add the curve, and bring it back down to where we started. And let's go again. So sort of working central-ish, up, slightly over, and again, and down, all right, oh thank you Sheila, I do try and, and think how, how are we going to get this done and I, I know you want it right and I, I always say don't worry about whether it's round or not but it was just a very very basic stencil but it just does so much and it gives you that like you say that confidence a little bit of a comfort blanket really so you can just get going straight away you know and uh, you know hopefully it might get you into the others you know you think okay i've had a go with this 
certainly when it comes to Zen buttons, you know, you do want a round shape specifically when you're doing those. So I was just trying to trying to be helpful. There you are. And back in, see, and in through there. Okay, you can see. Look, I've just met on the pencil. I've just amended it slightly. Well, that's fine. Okay. Now here, now because this is a little bit darker up on this section, we've got to look a little bit closer. There we are. Look. So there's my frame. So we're going to there. Oh, and I, uh, you know, there's a little bit there about catching up and things, honestly. Please don't worry about it. Go at your own pace. Um, swap and change. You don't have to do all of them, I know. There's going to be some in there you're not as fond of as others. And that's fine. And... Oh, Tina, no, no, you didn't. Any book that has gone out from here, book three, that is, it's gone out with the stencil. So don't you worry about that at all. And if I, for any reason, I mean, I say it's, it's my fault. If there's any package out there that has gone out without a stencil in it, that's just my fault <laughs> because, because I forgot to put it in. So I apologize in advance. If that is the case, just message me and I'll send you one out. I, I do, I really do try. I'm very trying, John says. Um, but no, they should have all gone out with one. And that goes the same for Wednesday's show, because we're taking book three back. So if you didn't get book three and uh, you want it, then it's there. Oh, Maureen, that's great. Oh, June, yes, book one. Ooh. All right. So what I'm going to do now, you see where this frame is sort of looks a little bit lost now, doesn't it? I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to draw in that frame. So here we go. I'm just going to line up. Let's do it this side so we can see. So it's there. And there's my, hang on, there's my point there. See, that's a little bit dark outside. So let's, I'm going to get this in as quickly as I can now. I'll tell you what I can do just to make sure it is. There we go. That's what we have a stencil for. We're talking about it. We're saying how great it is. And I'm just not using it. There you are. So, let's just draw those edges in. Oops. Now, you know if you find this and you're drawing and it moves, put a little bit of blue tack underneath it. It'll hold it in place then. But, you know, if you, if you want to, you don't have to use it. Go in and do it freehand or use your tile like I did before. I th I'm so used to using my tile. It's nice to have something that'll help you do it. Because I'm trying to do it from a distance and I'm not looking over it. So it's a little bit tricky. So there we go, it's there. Alright. That's that bit in. And then for the other edge, I'm going to use the stencil this way. Just use the edge of it. So it saves having a ruler out, doesn't it? You've just got it all in the one. Sort of there when you want it. Filling that in. Oh, that's true, Kathy. Yeah, it, it, it is about practice, isn't it? And, and I think sometimes just going for it and not thinking what's it going to look like or how's it going to end up, it's just do it. Yeah, T, D, you, I hope you've got yours, T, and I'm sure yours went out yesterday. If not, it's on its way. Okay, so let's have a look at this then, what we've got now. You see how wide this is here? Let's just go in a little bit bigger. So then let's look at this space here, because this is obviously coming in and then back round. And for it to look realistic, this width needs to be sort of the same here, doesn't it? So you see where we've got this curve? If I add... A little curve in there too. You see now it suddenly looks like it's part of. So let's have a look at this one. Same here, just perhaps a little bit. And work my way around. So here, so I'm following this curve, but bringing it in to add it there. So it starts to give it a little bit more 
realism. There we go. Just trying to keep it, even if it's just a tiny little mark. Tracy, don't worry about being late. So you can catch up later. See, this one's quite wide and you're not going to see it there. It's just having a look at the spatial awareness, isn't it? And thinking, does it need it or doesn't it? See there, no. But this one, let's have a bit there. Okay, so let's have a look at that. There we are. It's nice, it's got this extra bits going on, isn't it? Okay. Deep breath then. So let's uh, let's add a diagonal line in each corner of that frame. That's if you can see it. You might find on yours you can't see it. Okay. And then what we're going to do? We're going to create a zigzag line along here. All right. Okay. So usually I'd split my space up and then we create this. But I think today because we've got these extra bits in. I'm just going to go in and just sort of imagine it. You see, it's sort of there. And then back up there, maybe. All right. <laughs> I know, Janet, making you think. All right, so in there. So let me down there and up here. You see, I'm sort of, yeah, maybe there. Just giving it a little bit of, and then down into there. A bit of guessing, <laughs> guesswork. But yeah, that's, let's not worry about it being uh, completely accurate because you're not really gonna see all that much of it, are you? So there, so maybe, maybe up here to, there you are. And yeah, we're doing it in pen as well. See, so again, with a grid, we'd probably use a pencil normally, but this is gonna sort of form part of the pattern. See, so we've got that sort of zigzag effect all the way around the outside. So let's go in a little bit larger now. And we're going to ignore the corners for a little bit. We're going to not do those. Let's pick one that we've got an actual two triangles next to each other. Okay. So we're looking at this one here where the point's facing away from me. I'm going to start here and I'm going to split it into three sections. And then just put a curve on the top, one, two, and three, and then fill in any of the space there that's left. Okay, so let's move it along. Now here we haven't got a full size triangle, well that's okay, we sort of imagine it to be here. So we can still do that three way split, and then Join it there with a curve, curve, and a curve. So I say we, we've done these patterns before, but in a slightly different context. I think it's nice to see how you can use them. I mean, it's not about using a different pattern every single time. It's just about being a little bit different with it. Okay, so there's my line scene. So I'm going to turn my tile now. And then I'm going to do the same again. So this one would have the point up here. So we're going to do as much as we can to split the space. Now this time I can't put those curves on because this sort of bow is in the way. So we can't do that. Next one though we can. And there. And that one. And then one, two, three. And fill in that extra space. Okay. And the next one. It's a little bit different, isn't it, working on a, a tile that's different colours? Because you, you're not only getting the, you know, the, uh, the blackness and the drama there, but you're actually getting something from the, the colours that you've used as well. That sort of invokes a, a kind of uh, expectation, isn't it, to what's going to come next. Definitely got the, a darker area on this tile and a light source. And see again, my triangle would be here, so I don't get the curves there because they're underneath. So, moving on to this one. So I'm just repeating the pattern, and again, I won't really get much of that because 
pits underneath there. So here we go, let's do this one. And again, I won't get much because of that. We will leave in the corners, remember? So I'm going to turn it round. And then here's one of my others. So I'll just get that in there. And a slight bit of a curve, maybe. And then the next one, from the point, creating those three sections and working it round. All right. Hi, Sue. Hi, Grace. And then these ones. Curves in there. I'm hoping that those of you that are tangling along with me have, have noticed that today we, we got straight into it and very, very quickly just everything calmed down. It's almost that we're relaxing a little bit more and it's getting, it's getting easier to do. So rather than taking maybe 10 minutes to sort of chill out, it's, it's only now taking maybe you know, five or so. And you see here I've got this one. I am actually going to come in and just fill that section and add those. It's a little bit wider than the others, but it doesn't matter. There you are. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So we've got that same pattern going all the way around at the minute. Let's just fill that bit in there. Okay, so let's go a little bit larger. Now, I'm looking at the triangles that are pointing towards me. So I'm going to sort of, not necessarily split it in half, but it's probably going to end up that way. So I'm going to just do two, and then add a curve there and there. All right, and then this triangle that's left, I'm just going to draw a line that way. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So the next one. So let's let's put that line in. We know we're going to split that two in there, and we're going to put that line in. Okay. Again, I'm going to leave the corners for a little bit. Back to this one. So let's put that line in and split that into two. Curve and curve. Fill those in and add that line in. Same again. So here that's where this line's going to be. And then let's split that and you're going to see a little bit there. But you're not really going to see that, that line there. Same with this one. You might just see the... There's your two. Filling that in. Turning it round. So split that into two. Add in that curve. So you're very, very repetitive. You're just changing the the rotation really as to where it's going. Let's put that line in. So here that's going to be there, but you won't see it. So let's add in what you can. And those in there. You won't really see the line there, so move on to the next one. And adding in those curves. And you'll sort of just see that bit of a line there. Oh, to tangle onto plastic, you need a um, an alcohol marker. Sharpie do fine liners that will go onto things. Posca pens are a little bit thicker. But, uh, again, alcohol markers are a bit thick, aren't they, as well? There is an alcohol marker uh, called Graph It. They are uh, they've got a fine line with them as well. So anything anything like that. Obviously these wouldn't they'll just rub off. But anything that will uh, stay put. So yeah, that's where you hurt. I've not forgotten about your paper either, Margarita. It's, uh, I'm getting to it. Okay. So let's have a look at where we are so far. So we've sort of got this pattern going all the way around. So let's address this extra little line. Then you see the line we've got here. And what I want to do is split up this space. And then if we can, just little curves on the end. You see? And I've left that section. Now, 
let's do this one. So here we go again. I've actually done four. Now if you think there's oh it's too narrow, it's too fine. That's fine, do a few less. Alright. Let's turn it round. So I've left the corner. Oh Janet, never mind. Catch up again. It's nice now to have a bit of you know, a bit of fun with it. See that one there, you're gonna see just that top bit like this. Uh, turning around and then we're going to just fill in that one, add in those little curves and leave that one. That one again we're not going to see much, so we can't really do much. Turning it round, just filling in there. So it's exactly the same pattern but it's almost like we've rotated it and done slightly different with it. Oh Alicia, sorry. I'm going a little bit quick, am I? So okay, so what we've done so far, we've got the triangles this way and we've got the three in. Then it's because we've got this better in, we've got the three there, then we split this triangle into two and we added two of those curves there. And then the triangle left, we've split that into two and we've just filled in that section there. Alright. Um, that's the best, I think that's probably the best one. So I'll look at this one, see, we've got one, two, three, fill in that triangle. Then this triangle we've split and we've got half of it filled. The triangle that was left, we've split it again down the center and we've just filled in more of that shape and it just leaves us with that triangle there. Okay, so let's look at the corners now they're all going to be slightly different some of you might find that your your extra bows are sort of there and things uh, yeah yeah again acrylic paint with plastic it will scratch off or it, some of it does so uh, you're perhaps best going in with the pens now you can choose which way you want to do this you can go from any of those points and create the three, you know, like we did here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna split this triangle into three. And then I'm gonna create those little curves again and fill in those spaces. And then I'm gonna do the same here, split that triangle into three and fill in the spaces. All right, turning it round start at this point again and three there and split it into three there and then adding in those curves just filling in those gaps all right turning it round to the next corner so if you've got you started, say, from here, you're going to have a, f a fan shape that's coming this way. But because I've started here, I'm going outwards. So yours might look a little bit different than mine. That's absolutely fine. And even if on the previous sort of pattern, how we've split up the triangles, if yours is different, that's fine. It's, it's just that I'm using the same pattern every time. So it's splitting up whatever space you've got, adding that curl or curve on the end, wherever you can, and then going in and just filling in those gaps there. Okay, so let's have a look where we're at so far. So far, this is where we're at then. We've got a bit of a frame going on around the outside and we've got these lovely little loops. So let's have a look at the loops that we've created. Where we've got this little bit of negative space. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna fill it in, like so. So here, look, we didn't do one. This one is just a little bit there. And I've got this one here, just a little bit there, and there, okay, 
thing and this one just filling it in just, uh, so we know where we're going it's just sort of making it a little bit clearer so we can see what we're working with okay. I think the more we start to add the patterns and the dimensions to it the, the less we start to see that pencil we don't want to do that okay so let's have a look at that all right okay so being that this is ribbon let's go ahead and i'm just going to add a little dotted line either side so there we go just gives that effect doesn't it and the same with this one oh thank you bye i do try and mix them up as you know so it's nice to have some but somebody don't you know some people don't don't like the slightly more structured some people like it all organic vice versa but i do try and give you a mixture there we go all right so i'm gonna follow it around and i'm gonna do the same just looking at those little dashes working my way around absolutely no panic and you know it gives that feeling of hand stitching if they're slightly different sizes so that doesn't matter if they're, if they're different. Yeah, no, Kathy. <laughs> it, it just brings it out, doesn't it? And it, I think it, it makes it look a little more like the ribbon that we want it to. I mean, you could you could go in and you could put checks on it and all sorts of... Did you notice here where there was no black? And no, You can't quite see the stitch line, but here you can. So looking at this one, you see, because you've got the black and you can see that this is the same thickness as this, you will have that line there. And on that side. Oh, Sheila, oh, that's quite something then. That's a commitment, isn't it? It just shows that it's great for all sorts of things. I mean, with this ribbon, you could just do a couple either side of a, a bubble and it will look like a bow. Or, like we did the tassel last week. Oh, Julie, that's fine. I think uh, I can remember being in school teaching straight stitch and chain stitch and all those. And uh, yeah, we got some differences. <laughs> I think I must say though, and uh, this is not sexist in any way, shape or form, but the boys are always the ones that tried to make them really, really big so they didn't have to do as many. And then you do get the competitive ones and like, oh, how small can we make them? It's always quite interesting. But, yeah. So there, I'm going to see this one. I'm going to go down here. There we are. It's very different, isn't it, from the one we did on Wednesday. That was very delicate, almost lace-like. Whereas this one's got a definite presence with the, the addition of that black. And of course, yours at the minute might not be on a, a coloured tile particularly. It might just be on the cream or the white. So it, it's not going to look the same at all. Until you, uh, you ink over it later. So it's quite interesting to see what colours you use. I think that you think colours reflect your mood. I mean, I did start with the, the red one, didn't I? And that, I think I just wanted to brighten things up a bit. This sort of is more, more in keeping with today's weather, I think. There we are. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's, it's bringing it together now, isn't it? It's starting to build up that detail and of course if you've got a tile that you've inked quite heavily with dark colours maybe you've gone in with purples and dark blues then you could actually do this in white over the top that would look pretty cool but, uh, that's up to you isn't it it's a decision you want to make oh, I've missed a bit I'll go back and do it in a minute alright 
Let's see, see this bit here. Oh, Chris, it does a bit, doesn't it? I think with that light source there. So you see here where there's no, there's no sort of slither of black. It suggests that that ribbon is underneath that one, so I'm not going to add that stitch line. But I am on this one. Okay. Systematically working my way down each line. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to do this one. so far. Margarita did, yes, they're on order. I want to have a look at those. I think uh, Leslie got two of them, so yeah. <laughs> oh, hey Lindsay. I'm sure I've done a package with your name on it today. Yeah, yeah, it does, Bridget, doesn't it? So if you are feeling a bit down today, then, you know, go in with some really bright colours, the pastel-y ones. Don't, don't go in with something too dark and, you know, darken your day even more we don't want to do that okay so let's have a look at these spaces in between here they're only quite small and yeah we could go ahead and fill them with bubbles but I thought we'd try something what we've not used for a while so I'm going to start with a dot and then I'm going to aura around the dot just a little way I'm going to add a little bump onto that dot and then I'm going to do a little bit more, a little bit wavy. Add another bump. Then I'm going to aura around that. And I'm going to add another bump. And then a little bit more. Add another bump. You see how this starts to flow. Now what I could do, I could keep going and actually create one large pattern. But I'm going to start another one here. Again, aura around and start to little bumps now the space is very small so you're going to sort of make up little areas where it's going to be bumps or not bumps you see let's add another here let's just fill in that space there we go all right oh i'm glad i'm glad people are, are willing to give these a go because i i do come out with different things sometimes and i know sometimes they get a bit tricky but if we don't have a challenge in our lives now and again, then everything's too easy and it gets boring, doesn't it? Oh, that's good, Rhiannon. It's nice to get to the girls involved, isn't it? And another one. So you're just adding those bumps. It's just, again, it's about adding that black line and making that little bit of drama. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so pleased that you like the new book, actually. I th I th well, we've all been through it already, haven't we? We've done these particular tiles. But it's now nice to have, have it in front of you without stopping and starting a video. Oh, see, Denise, yeah, it, it works brilliantly, doesn't it? And if you've got a bit of a shaky hand, there's loads of different tangles you can, you can pick up on. But uh, just make it your own. Just, just go for it. Oh, thank you, Glennis. Honestly, yeah. You know, stay number five, it doesn't matter. There's plenty to go. Corner tabs and tiles separately. Oh, and yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I do sell them on my website, so I don't know if you, you know, if you've been there and had a look. Was there at the moment? But there, I mean, I'm not. I want to tell you right then. There is some exciting news coming about photo corners, but I can't. I can't tell you yet. It's a little bit early. I can't tell you yet. But something, something's coming. So bear with me on that. But yeah, um, yeah, Glennis. If you can't, if you can't find my website, I think there's a button on my Facebook shop at the top, or just send me a message, or I'm sure one of the other. Uh, sand tanglers on here can give you a little bit of a, a link to it and they're on there. I think there's black, silver, gold and rose gold at the minute. And then the course, choice of tiles. There we go. So I'm just working my way around. 
Oh, brilliant. Oh, Sheila, yeah, book three's on its way. Yeah, do you know, I think the first thing you have to do is, is turn to the back of the book and have a look at the gallery. There's some fabulous work there. And you know what, thank you everybody that did send me uh, your tiles because it just shows how confident you've become by yeah, sending them on and you know being prepared to show them to other people. It's just lovely, thank you. And some of the comments that came with them, it's, uh, they were brilliant, so I'd like to include them as well. But yeah, you have to have a look, they were, they were really, it's really nice. I think it's an inspiration, isn't it, when you can see that other people have had a go and done them. I'm absolutely loving what I'm doing. It's great. I'm glad you are. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, thank you, Garth. Appreciate that. All right. Just working my way around. I'm on purpose not showing you this until uh, until I've done it all because it's. We see it all close up and how it forms, and then when we look off. Oh, Sheila, that's good news. Now, um, look at all mine have been cancelled now till next year. So there's not going to be any shows or any events, even Craftopia. But I mean, we've we've got to do the right thing, of course. But. Um, I will do Craftopia next year. I was invited this year. It was very nice of them, so I will. Um, I will do it next year. I'm uh, looking forward to that one. I've not done that before, but that'd be great because you know we'll all be crafters there, and yeah, I think there's f there's four different uh, people there doing workshops, and you move around them. So I'd like to be there myself, actually, as a crafter, <laughs> but. You know, so I'm going to miss out on getting around all the other stands, but no, that'd be great. It'd be, it's going to be lovely to actually get out and about and meet people again. But not, not yet. It's almost. Okay. Oh, you know, I know, Janet, they don't seem to be doing it at the minute, do they? They used to have their iPads there, and they'd be looking at that, but I think because... You know they have to share them they they've stopped doing it because obviously they don't want people's you know if you you know they've not washed their hands or anything you just don't know do you, you don't want people sharing them so thank you for that i do appreciate it there's nothing i can do about it whether they show them or not well i appreciate you i know you're out there what did you think of the uh the new start in the little frame. I did that with the those you know the moonlight gel pens. Just love that colour. Alright, are you ready for this? See look at that, look how it's sort of taken this now, has come to the front and that to the back. It's just filled in that section. Absolutely love it. Like that pattern, it's a great sort of filler in. But uh, really pleased with that. Looking at that, look. All right, so let's have a look at uh, this bit in the middle then. Oh, is it Rihanna? That's good. Well, I'm hoping once I've got these tables in here, let's have a look. See, I've got some circles to sort of work on now. I'm going to go with, oh, I'm going to go with the middle one there. You see where I've sort of put my cross? Let's just add that. Of course, don't worry about it. You can, you can use, just do it freehand if you want, it's fine. All right, so here we go. So let's start on this side. And break it down there. Okay. It does, isn't it? It's sort of, yeah. Let's just aura that line. Okay. And then let's have a look. Oh, Brianna, that's, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Let's do that one. And turn it round. Another. You see how each time it's coming from that last one. And just working its way round gently. Turn your tile as you're going. And then a line and then an aura. 
turning it round a line and then all the way and around and all the way. All the way. Hey Karen. Oh, they are she lens, you know, they're just lovely, aren't they? Just big enough. I was quite, oh, I, I was chuffed with it. Okay, so let's go a little bit larger. And I'm going to just add in a curve. And I'm on purpose not trying to follow so I get the same shape. See, each of my curves are a different height or a different sort of place for each shape. And then let's go ahead and aura that one. And again, depends where it is as to which size you do that aura, whether it's top or bottom. There we go, look at that. It does, it's lovely, isn't it, like that. Let's add one of those little lines into it as well. Again, tiny one there. There we are. And then while we're on lines, remember all these nice little sort of lines we did here with the curves. Let's go ahead now and add those lines in there too. Just think it finishes it off. If you want to put a dot on the top, please feel free to add that dot. But it's, it's entirely up to you. So you see here where I did my corner? Let's go in and just add. See it's only going part way up and then back to that centre point. So up there. Now you notice these tiny ones, I'm not even going to bother with them because they're way too thin to get a pen into. So I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to go with the flow and just do the ones I can reach. Okay. Just doing those in the corners there. Like a bit there. Alright. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, so I'll come back to it in a minute. I've missed one. I'll find it in a minute. Let's have a look. There we are. You see, I'm just going around and adding in. Oh, sorry. There we go. Adding in those lines. So again, you can put a dot on if you want. I'm not going to add a dot today. I'm just going to stick with it like this. And again, part way. For that one I've missed. Where have I missed? It'll come to me. Okay, so we've got quite a quite a pattern going on there, haven't we? The only bit we've not really tangled is this section here, but we've got the sort of the dotted lines. So we could at this point go in with our pencil and tortillon, but I think today I'm actually going to go in with coloured pencils because I've started in colour. in the middle. Right in this bit here, in this bit. Let's have a look. I've done those. I've got that one in. Sometimes you can't see for staring. Okay, so let's have a look. Well, let's work on colours and I can always put that in after. You see how I've got, uh, I've got bits of blues. Oh no, Margarita. Oh, do you know what you need to do? Um, Send me a photo of the, let me know which ones they are, because if you have and I've got spares, I can sort that. Okay. So, yeah, I've got sort of a greeny blue and a bit of a purple going on. So, yeah. See, I've missed, what have I missed? Okay. So I've got my greens. There you go, look, two, two greens. I've got a blue. I might go in with the lighter blue and I've got a bit of a purple. Okay, so pen's going down and I'm going to go in with these pencils. Oh, I'm obviously, because I can, oh, Margaret, let me, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. And I've got my white as well, of course. So let's have a look at these ribbons. So 
centre bit of the ribbon. So you've got my white pencil. I'm going to go in and add a touch of that. I see because it's pencil and not pastel, it's not going to be as in your face as the pastels. And it depends, of course, on what colour you've put on to go with. There we go. So I'm just sort of going around and adding some of that white, even on that one there, in the centre of those ribbons, just on the outer bit. There we go. On this one. And these ones. Of course, the darker your ink is underneath, the, uh, the darker that's going to be. Let's go in then with, um, I'm going to go in with the dark green and add some across this top edge. Right. Okay, just on that top edge. Now it might be that I don't get round to doing all of these during the session, but I just want to show you how you would do it and then I could go ahead and finish it. You to see, I've now gone in with the blue. And that side, you see I'm working towards that white all the time. There we are. You see, as we know, when we've got, I'll add a touch of green in. When we're working with pencils, we do have to work it in a little bit more to blend it. It's not like using the pastels that we did the other day. And then of course let's bring that white back in. Just to finish it. And almost almost burnishes it, doesn't it? So it helps to sort of with the two. Let's have a look at that. There we go. So for purple, let's make it a little bit larger. I'm just gonna add a touch on that bottom edge you see it just so because it's a, it's got a bit of blue in and a bit of red in it's going to improve the shadows and it's not going to take away the colors it's just going to add a little bit of shadow and depth in there so let's do the underneath side here and i'm going to go in see i didn't put any white in there so i'm going to go in and put some of the dark green And I'm just going to add in some of the lighter green straight through because I don't want any white in this because it's underneath in the shadows. And then back in with that purple. Oh, thank you, Mary. You're not, you've not got the... So, so I did take on to create and craft the other, the other month. Did it last month? Do you know, I lose track of time. I really do. So let's just, see I'm just going back in and just helping to blend with that darker green and then the lighter green. There we go. Now the idea is that's going to be darker because it's underneath, but there we go, see? So you've got a definite darkness and lightness. Okay, let's just go ahead and do another one of those just so you can see how they would, they would look once you start building it up. And then I'll, I'll show you how to shade the rest of it. So again, look, I've gone in with that dark green. Then I added a touch of blue, the light blue. Not forgetting that there is some white in there. So I'm working over the top of all. And even though, because I'm working on the top of a coloured background as well, and then the light green, it's... Uh, it's helping to work those colours together and it's now starting to, to look like one. Well, so I'm drawing on top of the background, if that makes sense. It's, it's building it together. There we go. So same again. I've, I've done exactly the same as I did before. Just use that white to sort of burnish it. And let's add a touch of the purple on the top there, just to give that bit of shadow. There and there. And then on the inside, oh, thank you, Debbie. I mean, please don't don't panic about these and think, oh, they're really complex and I'll never do it. Just do what you can and uh, you know what you feel comfortable with. You don't have to go in and do all this colour. You can just go in and shade with a pencil. It's, uh, 
just sometimes it's nice to sort of have that option, isn't it, and see how it's done. See, there we go. So you can see how that's starting to look quite three-dimensional. Three this bit here is starting to look a little bit more sort of bowed. Okay, so I tend to like the uh, the monochrome with the colours, as, as we all know. So going back in look with my pencil, what I would do is I'm going to leave this background and I'm just going to add pencil here. See where we've put those lines? So on here and on here. All right, let's do the same here and on here and here and then of course in the corner so wherever we actually added those lines in that's where we're going to put the pencil and then we're going to go in with our tortillon so let me get it out of my box there we go all right so let's just smooth it out now again it's not going to be as sort of stark as we would normally have it because we're working on a, a coloured background, but it's still going to give it that little bit of depth, isn't it, that we want. And of course, when we're working with colours over the top, all right, so we're just softening the edges, all right, of that section. Let's have a look at that. There we go, see that one there just needs a touch more. It looks a little bit different, see, on the camera than it does in real life. So you can see where that's starting to come in, okay? I'm just going to go back in with my pen. Now, now we've done this a little bit before. Uh, oh, Denise, the pencils I am using, here we go, they're called Brunzeal Design Pencils. And they come in a lovely little drawer like a box. Um, this is the set of 12. Yeah. That's a, that's a tip on creating craft through the week. Uh, very well received thank you and they do do pen pastels as well so you can see here I've just actually gone up that side with my pen again I'm just defining that side okay straight over all of it you see and then once obviously once this one's colored let's do the same here so you can sort of see where I'm heading with this let's have a look at that Right, you can see where we're adding this thicker line, it really brings it to life. So I can go in and add some darker in here. I might do that a little bit later, but let me just show you how to do this section. All right, so I'm just gonna put the lid on my pen for a moment. I'm coming back in with pencils here. So white pencil, let's just sort of get a bit going. I'm really pressing on there with the white, just sort of getting a bit and going in there. And then dark green around the opposite curve. So I'm, I'm thinking curves again. Remember that smirk shape? There we go. Back in with the blue. See, I mean, what colours would I use if I'd gone with the original uh, red colour, sort of colour? Oh, I see. See my missed bit. It's okay, I might just leave it. Yeah. Add a bit of white just to sort of help burnish all that in together. All right. And then a little bit of purple just on this edge. I'm gonna really just a little bit on the edge. Let's have a look at that. Look. Okay. And then again, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit purple, just around the edge and I'm just flicking it out a bit. And the dark green. You see, so I'm not worried about that being a separate pattern completely. And then a little bit of blue. So you can see the pattern I'm forming here, I, I go in with the, and I've added the purple there, but dark green then that blue then the lighter green well, I'm not going to take it further than that shape I've created okay 
a little bit of white just to sort of help bring all that in there we go and then in with a regular pencil and I'm just going to fill in see those shapes there we go in with my tortillon let's go a little bit larger see so and then I'm just going to ever so gently just soften the edges of that pencil there of course we can't soften the edges of the coloured pencils as I said you, you've got to put the work in to blend them if I'd have used pastels, we could have used a tortillon, but I chose to use pencils today. All right, there we go. And then once I'd coloured all of the, the ribbons, I would go round it with pencil. There we go. See, I'm not being particularly neat. It's just about getting the pencil on there. Oh, thanks, Alicia. They're nice colours, aren't they? So, you know, adding a touch of yellow might bring a little bit more out as well. But sometimes you've got to go with what you've chosen at the time. I can always add some in. All right, so I'm just smoothing around there. So as you can see, once all the, the bows are done around the centre the centre point there, you can see that this now is starting to sort of pop this is coming forward you've got your little gem here in the middle then of course you know we, we could go in and add a little bit of a highlight there with a white pen see starting to faff now white gel pen just the opposite side where your light source is let's have a look here we go so at this point i think what we're going to have to do is yep yeah, we are going to have to leave it there just a second. Gonna, I probably will actually go in, see underneath here, and just add in some of that pencil, you know, just underneath that frame. But of course, I would do this once I've, I've gone in and done my pencil. So it might be, being that I've showed you this, it might be that I start mine again. Maybe I will do the red one. And then I'll. Uh, finish it off and then I can show you what it looks like as a finished piece but you can see there that just that brings that frame in so I wanted to bring you something that got a bit of a challenge today so adding that color in spending a bit more time you can see there look how that frame then starts to sort of disappear and it comes more three-dimensional here so i hope that's given you food for thought there and it's given you a really good starting point a pattern itself you've got everything you need to do that uh, you've got everything you need in order to put this in and follow it round center pieces done and you might decide that you want to go in and add i know maybe some more shading on the frame on the inside and the outside just to give it a bit of a bevel or maybe even a white line in the centre, but it's all about having a bit of a play and seeing what you can come up with. Or, or maybe even try this on a, on a circle as a round tile, or even a hexagon, but it's, um, it's up to you, your choice here. Um, but I'd love to see what you do with it. It would be, be really nice. And of course, please, you know, feedback on the book. Let me know if, uh, if you know for <laughs> the next one. Oh my goodness, the next one whether you think you know there's anything else that can be added that you would think was beneficial um that would be nice or you know if you've got one of the tiles that obviously are going to be in that you think oh actually i would like to sort of do that then maybe you want to have a practice and do that one again but uh, yeah just just have some fun with it and enjoy and yeah i will get this done over the weekend and i'll post it so you can see the finished one as I say, it might be that I go back to the red one. I'll, I'll try and finish this one, actually, so you can see where it's going. So thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for watching me, you know, on Creating Craft and obviously for making those orders. So if it wasn't for that and wasn't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here today doing this. So I, I do appreciate it, really. Thank you ever so much. Um, enjoy your weekend. And Marie will be with you on Monday. She's going to finish off the To The Moon and Back 
uh, project that she's been working on with you. Um, then the week after we're going to be doing something a little bit different, so you can have a look at that. And I will see you here, all be well again. It will be Wednesday, but it'll be from, I'll be from doing it from Creating Craft, I think, because I've got space in the middle. So same time, two o'clock Wednesday. Um, I'll see you all then. All right, you take care, everybody. Bye.